Hallelujah. Glory to God. Welcome to the month of July. And uh, in case you're wondering why I'm wearing this, don't worry. I'll explain why. It's partly because I'm mourning on behalf of the shock of the, the grief that is going on in the Methodist Church. But I'll share more on that later. But uh, welcome. Welcome to the month of July. Praise God. So month of July, as I saw the face of the Lord, he said, month of July, let things fly. Month of July, let things fly. Glory to God. You hear the birds singing there saying, yeah, I, I agree, Robin. Yes. Hallelujah. So the word that he's given is Philippians 1, 6. He who began a good work in you will surely bring it to completion. There's something phenomenal about July. It's a month of where you can begin projects and also end projects in the same month. You know, we, we read of a miracle like this in 50, 52 days, Nehemiah chapter 6, where the wall was built and the wall was completed in record time. So the purposes of God are being fulfilled when they are being birthed and they are being fulfilled this special month of July. I saw many, many types of birds, swallows, thrushes, magpies, and what Holy Ghost was emphasizing to me was the, the, the streamline. They were, they were streamlined and July is a month of great speed. It's a month of great acceleration. It's a month also where many people will experience the phenomenon of supernatural movement, supernatural movement. Remember in John chapter six, Jesus got to the boat and immediately the boat had got to the side of the shore. God who dwells in eternity is able to bend time and for many people that are listening out there he's saying in the month of July I'm going to achieve the what is physically impossible and I'm going to bend time I also see that, that, that there are many people that have been waiting on God for the promises of God and July is a month of birthing it's a month of bringing to the birth then uh, let, let me share also this uh, this this parable from my life you, you know um, I used to ride motorbikes a lot when I was uh, when I was a young man and got places on my heart to have it as a goal to get a, a full UK license and it's not as easy in third world nations you know no no, no offense to third world nations it, apart from costing eight eight nine hundred pounds you know it all sorts of technicalities and today I had my test and I was quite confident well half confident but anyway I failed and uh, I was just not just gonna write it off and then the Spirit of God reminded me that he uses prophets as illustrations for what he's saying. Now, I failed the test today, was given a reset for the 29th of this month. What's the prophetic message? The prophetic message is, is, is two things. One is God is saying he will not release you before your time. He will not release you. He will not cheat for you. You must go through the preparation, through the training, through everything that you need for that project, that vision. When all the T's are crossed and the I's are dotted, then and only then he will release you. So July is also a month of great preparation, a month of great training and a month of great preparation. He says, you are, he said to me, he said, you are not ready and you are, you are not ready. That's he was saying in present tense. But later, he said, as you get ready now. This also has a, 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 a direct um, um, impact on the raising of apostles. Uh, you, you may be aware that the Lord said that he's going to be raising 100 apostles through this ministry. And the training for that is carrying on in July, July 3rd, 10th and 17th for four hours each Saturday. There are 12 intensive hours of training and preparation. Matthew chapter 20, Matthew chapter 22, many are called but few are chosen. One of the reasons that they're not chosen is because they didn't put on the wedding garment, they didn't prepare. So I want to encourage you and really urge you if you're called to apostolic ministry or you're functioning in apostolic ministry at the moment and you don't know the truth of the 10 types of apostle, the 10, uh, the ten uh, uh, functions of the apostle, the 10 signs of the apostle, if you don't know that, if you can't define your apostolic mandate, metron, and your mantle, then I want to encourage you, register for the course, because Father is saying he wants to move you forward significantly, but he wants you to be fully ready. And God is going to do it miraculously in this special month of, um, of July. Glory to God. Now, back to the Methodist Church. The Methodist Church in the United Kingdom went, uh, they, they did a, something that is absurd. They approved the blessing of God as they define it upon couples who want to cohabit. They said, if you cohabit, it's holy, it's all right. What foolishness, what degradation of the scriptures, what, 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 what on earth would make the Methodist church to so, 
sin against God. You know, Isaiah speaks of such people. He says they call good evil and they call evil good. It's literally absurd. So am I to tell my young sons and my young daughters, you, 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 you know, shacking up is all right. If you shack up for more than two or th for minimum of two months, then it's all right. It's got the blessing of God. This is ridiculous. And I'm wearing this in solidarity with my minister colleagues, my friends in the Methodist church who are standing on behalf of righteousness and godliness. And I see a sword being placed in your hands, the faithful remnant of the Methodist church. I see a sword being placed in your hand to cut off rot, to cut off decay and gangrene in the name of Jesus. Now, before this was even passed, a judgment from the Lord was released upon the person who presided over the Methodist church for this thing. A judgment has been released. People may choose to backslide, but the scriptures are very clear. 1 Peter chapter 4, judgment will begin in the house of God. And when you backslide to the degree that you now say that fornication, if you're living together, is all right. When you ought to be the light of God, you ought to be the light of the world and the light of the United Kingdom, you know, then, then woe is you. Even our blessed Prime Minister Boris Johnson knows the fool says in his heart that there's no God and there's no standards of God. But Father, we give you praise. I pray, pray, I pray for righteousness to emerge in the Methodist Church in the name of Jesus. I pray for voices to stand up for godliness in the name of Jesus. I pray wisdom for the Anglican Church in the name of Jesus that they wouldn't pass such a, such foolish, such foolish degrees. I'm, I'm using the, the most powerful term that I can use, which is of a fool. Uh, Paul called the Galatians foolish, foolish. Father God, we pray your repentance upon the United Kingdom, upon the Church of the Methodists, in Jesus' precious name. God bless you. Have a great month. Keep your eyes on the prize. Run well. Get the training. Get the preparation. What God began in you, he will surely complete. Here's my son, Prince. Happy July. Happy second half of the year. Heavenly Father, thank you for your word. May it only be your word that I speak. In Jesus' name, amen. So I found it quite funny when Dad opened up about flight this um, July. The first thing that came to me I saw was um, we've entered July, it's a new season, it's the second half of the year, we're stepping out of old ways into something new and I felt the Holy Spirit saying um, don't crave the comfort of your cocoon, of your past phases, of your past seasons, that uh, Hebrews 10, 38 and 39 but my righteous one will live by faith, and if he shrinks back, I'll not be pleased with him. But we are not of those who shrink back and are destroyed, but of those who believe and are saved. So I felt that as we come into July, James 1, 4, uh, let perseverance finish its work so that you may be mature and complete, not lacking anything. So I felt that as we come into July, it's a time to really stretch out those wings stretch out those legs and trust god and do the things we know we should do because i felt that what i saw was a it was kind of painful picture i saw people groups of people and they were waiting it's like they were looking at their watches they were looking around it's like they'd um they'd been stuck up you know and they were waiting at all these different places and i felt that God's assignment for us and our purposes for us we're the missing link the missing key that people are waiting for and that I felt to share that you know every weird life God's purposes everything around us you know it's so much bigger than ourselves and that when we're not doing what we should be doing how we should be doing we're keeping other people we're keeping movements from being fulfilled it's like I saw there was this big cargo ship, it was loaded, it had all the people and all the resources on it to go to places and bless places, but it had no navigation system, no compass, no one on board knew how to navigate the waters or get to this area, and I felt that for many of us, our purposes, our destinies, we're that key or that missing link. We may be the direction, the knowledge of direction, that that ship needs to get to where it should be so when we're not doing what we should be doing we're keeping everyone else we're keeping god's plans waiting we're keeping destiny waiting and doing that is being selfish so i felt that some of us may know what we need to do and we should just do it and others of us we may not yet know what we need to do we can ask holy spirit to show us what season we're in in our lives mm. We can also look ourselves by, you know, look around what's going on. Where are we in life? 
and so that when we see where we are we can now act accordingly and do what we should do but July is a great month and it's a great second half of the year and I saw the ground was very fertile so all of your investments you'll reap a great reward and harvest for your investments I saw all of your efforts will be very effective so just be diligent persevere trust God do what you know you should do and you'll see how he uses you and how he blesses others through you and how his greatness just flows like a stream through you to other people so heavenly father thank you for july thank you for this word thank you for grace to do what we know we should do and the grace of discipline the discipline of doing help us not to be distracted but help us to do and glorify you in our doing in jesus name amen, amen. well done son god bless Happy you july. see you next Good month day.